So these guys want to talk about J.K. Rowling. Is that so? What's going on with that? What do you want to know? Uh, she's she's had a pretty controversial past. I just want to know, like, what are your thoughts on it? Like, do you still like her work despite her uh, bigoted opinions? So let's get specific, though. Let's define bigoted opinions. What opinions are bigoted? We're going to treat this as a thought experiment. I'm not going to say yeah. what's right or wrong or what way to think. The whole point is to learn how to think, not what to think. Yeah. yeah. So when you say bigoted, you, you're you're starting with the conclusion that, given her bigoted opinions. Yeah. So first, her, uh, let's start with, does she have bigoted opinions? So when you when you say bigoted opinions, she has had a history of being extremely transphobic. I've heard. Hey, you've heard. So what? Can you give me an example? Uh... If you look at her Twitter, I think um, you could see a few things. Um, if you want, I could try and find yeah, see something. If you can find, see if you can find one. So, one of these tweets that she came up with in 2019, she said, Dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who will have you, um, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for starting that for stating that sex is real. So you find that bigoted? What do you find about... It was... In there? It was deemed transphobic. I, like, I myself... Do you find that transphobic yourself? Uh, I don't really have an opinion on it, but I'm just going with what a lot of other people have said. So a let's pause it. Let's not go with what other people are saying. Let's try and learn how to critically think. So let's analyze the tweet ourselves. So that statement... Do you see anything problematic disregarding other people's opinions? Um, she did try and pin some things on a, spe a specific group of per of people. Where, she, where does she do that? do that? Can you read that? But force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real. So when I hear that, I'm interpreting that as meaning... If a woman says that, you know, saying that there's a difference between men and female and then being attacked as transphobic, I think that's what she's saying by attacking someone for stating that sex is real. That is exactly what she's saying. Is that I, transphobic to you? So, to me, no. Stating that sex is real is not transphobic. It's just a fact of life. It exists. So is there anything you disagree with in that tweet? Uh... In that tweet, I can't really see anything that I myself disagree with, but I can see why some people would think, oh, this is offensive, we can't have that here, or something, because... Sure. Uh, there's an apology tweet. Um, she, let's read that. What did she say there? I haven't read that. I respect every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. I'd march with you if you were discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it is hateful to say so. Um, you see anything problematic there? She's apologizing, so... No, not really. Um, if I if I could read it again, it sounds like a, the same, a very similar statement as what she was just saying. She's basically saying like, I have nothing to me. This is what I interpret as I have nothing against someone being trans. Exactly. In your life, but you just don't get to impose on my. You can live how you want. I can live how I want. Yeah. And let's all you know. Exactly. So I guess now, so now that we're looking at it like, oh, there's not much difference between me or her. Do you, how? Why do you? Do you think it's fair that there's a that she's being attacked by a large group of people and people are calling her? Like you said at the beginning of this conversation, you said, given the fact that J.K. Rowling is transphobic, how do you feel about Harry Potter? Now, yeah. retroactively looking at that statement, do you think that that was the best way to phrase? No, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> it's okay though, but this is why we do this to learn to yeah. learn how to think. Yeah.